Spirit is very similar in my mind to what is meant by gesture in figure drawing. The sense of embodiment, of there being an inner world, of there being an intention. There is an invisible thread between the various parts of the figure, between the marks that have us feel both the aliveness of the model and of the artist. This is where I really came to learn this. And so when people say that my paintings are full of motion, it is really that I am drawn to the threads of vitality and I can't help but be pulled along by them. Following impulses to relating intentions of the parts to the whole. These invisible threads are everywhere in nature and are what I feel here. Like a person, they fluctuate with the mood of the weather and the time of the day. Time moves more slowly for trees, a little faster for the shifting sands and faster still for the clouds and light as the day rolls by, arching over the great saddle of sand. I love the rippling patterns, the gradations of soft footprints, the evidence of past visitors. I love the perilousness of the slope and the unusual perspective on the waves. I love the gnarled dead trees, overwhelmed by the desiccating, suffocating march of sand. I love the twistedness of the soft rocks of the cliff's edge. I love the casserinas and the fine dune flowers. I love the colours in the sand and the curl with licks of small sand drips. There is a wistfulness here and a strangeness that wakes our notice with the novelty of the uncliched metaphor. Poetry seems to me never to be very far from the spiritual precisely because it observes the invisible threads that we feel between real things and real events. And it is these invisible threads that weave the spiritual.